Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75 and this is loft wall number 5 and for this one I thought I'd um, well just sort of like have a little tour of my actual loft at my parents house this is where I have most of my toys, I'm actually um, searching for something at the moment, I'm searching for um, I think it was a movie 2007 protoform Starscream which I had and a thundercracker from that first movie but um, I can't seem to find them anywhere um, I've actually taken most of my movie toys back to my house at the moment um, but this is a lot of KO toys that um, I have um, got some got these from the pound shop these were oh my god what are they the bloody Cybertron Starscream mold but they were like a generic one so I sort of got them um, just to be like generic seekers um, I think, can't remember I got that from maybe Spain um, what's this oh that is a piece of piece of crap that one <laughs> Um, it was, I was going to use it as like a um, yellow classics hoist in place of actually getting the real one because I couldn't afford it and it is dreadful um, that, that is not even worth talking about these are pretty cool these are some um, G1 inspired movie coloured constructor cons they're pretty cool I've reviewed them a long time ago I've got big sound wave thing. some kind of like shattered glass insecticons there um, this is another pound shop finder. I actually painted that myself. Um, not too bad, actually. Uh, okay, this is great. This is like an oversized Micro Master combiner devastator thing. Such a huge. Love that. Um, we've got a a weird KO shockwave that I bought. Um, I put a Generation 2 a sign on it there. It's completely mental. Uh, what else, any else of note in here? Not really. Got Sky Gary, I think. It's a knockoff, a giant thing. Uh, some more bits here. Um, some really bad. Brutus. And oh, this is brilliant. This is like an oversized uh, MicroMaster. Whatever they were, the race car ones. Brilliant. Oh, that is a good one. Took me ages to find that. Um, Co reflector. And oh, this, look at this, an oversized, um, what are they called? I can't think of what they're called for the life of me now. The Multiforce. Um, huge robot, really unstable, but damn cool. I always keep meaning to review that, but I never get around to it. Uh, what else have we got here? These are some of my boxes. Um, let me just come a little bit away, and then you can see all these boxes I've got up there and everything. You can see it there. Um, you can see some of the little names and whatever. Uh, there's my Overlord. Um, I think I might get those out actually because they're pretty cool. Um, what else have we got around here? We've got Roulette, Size Swipe, Sun Street on Antagony, Shadow Striker, Megazaric, Cyclonus. I'm actually looking just mainly for my movie toys. I've brought a lot back. Bloody hell, I just whacked the bloody ceiling here. Um, yeah, I can't think who we got down here. I don't know if that's going to zoom in too well. And on that one, there we go. Uh, right, I'm going to leave this here anyway. Um, what else have we got around here? So these are my loose sort of like boxes of transformers that I've got. Um, who else have we got in here? We've got lots of action masters and mega. We've got no mega supreme copy. I might, I might do a review of that one one day. I think it's like the converters or like black version. That's pretty cool. Uh, I might get that out and review that at some point. Um, this is my oh my god see I've got loads of stuff just idly hanging around this is when I moved out seven years ago um, I just sort of threw everything up here in haste to get out of my bedroom um, when I was moving out and then I sort of like just never got a chance and it sort of like just sort of like stayed up here so this is my masterpiece star screen the American version where it's got all the cool sort of like deco on it, it looks pretty damn good that does keep that one in plain mode and I've got the other one uh, for robot mode and this is my KO Desirus. There's a triple changing thing. A couple of KO Sharktacons that I was trying to troop build. Um, got two. I've got an original one. Never got round to them. Oh, these are pretty damn cool. These are white. Right. Didn't even realise they were there. Um, what else have got there? Oh, this is my. Um, what's his name? I can't forget his name. It's uh, Wolf of Cybertron Megatron. Great figure. Um, Going to give that to my son when he's older. Doesn't really try, like Transformers at the moment, so. <laughs> Probably never want it. Uh, this is my landfill, and we've got who else is this? This is Predator King, great figure. I love that. Got a Zoids 2 Ultrasaurus up there, and an Iron Kong. 
Um, G1 Menace Saw, that is a KO box, but the Transformers are all genuine inside it. Uh, ah, that's who I wanted. I wonder where he was. It is... Oh. It is my Decepticon Barricade, Premium Edition. I wanted him. So I've got the original one, which I've already done a video of. Don't think I've uploaded it yet. But I wanted that, so I've got that from being here. I'm going to bring these home. The only other two movie bots that I've found here is camshaft is it camshaft yeah what about camshaft and landmine i'm sure they're out of the movie um right okay that is it for this at the moment actually no let me just show you see what i've got over here it gets a bit dark over this side um i've got a couple of daleks here i don't know if these still work hold on oh, no he's out of batteries what about this red one i like this red one Love it. He's been up here seven years, um, well, probably longer actually, probably eight or nine, and he still works. Oh, this guy don't look too good, does he? Oh, he looks like someone's broken his bloody eye. I ain't bloody on. He don't work well. He's an easy fix. There's a bit of super glue on him. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Um, I always wanted the bigger version, should have got it in Tesco's, 30 quid. Now you want to look for it on eBay, it's like a bloody hundred. Uh, right, I've got loads of other rubbish just hanging around. I always want to find my Total magazines from my old Super Nintendo days, but I can't for the life of me think of what I've bloody done with them. I don't know, it's chucked my way. Um, sure I checked all the boxes. See, look, all the lot of stuff over here. It just all gets bundled up. Anyway, right, I'm going to leave this here. There's loads of comic boxes and everything down there. Another box full here. Um, right, I'm going to leave this video here, and I shall see you all next time. Well, actually, you know, it's probably going to continue when I get back to my house with whatever I bring back. Okay, I shall leave it here. See you in a minute. Actually, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Some oversized uh, sequins. Come and give a review, then. Right, so here we are back at home. And I've actually brought back quite, um, not more stuff than I thought I was getting, but definitely more stuff um, than I was planning to. Um, but that always seems to be the way. Um, right, so I brought back um, a few G1 toys and uh, a lot of movie Transformers. Now, I've already uploaded some of the videos for my Transformers movie sort of toys. That's because I actually went to my mum and dad's quite a few weeks ago now and brought them home already, the majority. I haven't got them actually here. They're actually up in my loft now. Um, but I do have a, quite a lot. Ones that I'm going to be hopefully doing videos on uh, and stuff like that. It's like I say, some of it already done and I think I did explain in my first sort of video that I did for that a few weeks ago now. Um, so anyway, so... Uh, the actually the bit at the start of this where you saw me at my mum and dad's loft that is actually done just now It's a bit confusing. Don't worry about it. Um, anyway, right. So let's start. Where shall we start? We will show this one now. I did mention this in what, just now um, This is my solid is it select converters? Um, I don't know what his name was, but it's like a black and mega supreme black and red one I've shown this off in a few videos a long time ago It's pretty much complete. It's missing one of the little red clips from other legs, and it's very yellowed on the tracks. Don't know what you're gonna see, um, but I feel like doing a video on that one. I've already done a Mega Supreme a long time ago, um, but that is quite a cool sort of thing. Um, and that was my first Mega Supreme actually. I didn't manage to get an original one. Uh, I'm gonna put this down here. Right, the next actually the only G1 toy I actually brought back uh, this time was this, but it links into a few of the other things. This is my G1 Jetfire. Um, I did get this signed back in, oh my god, I don't know if you see it, it's in a plastic bag. Um, don't know if it's going to show up too well, but that is um, signed by Greg Berger, because he used to do his voice on the cartoon. Um, I've already reviewed this a long time ago, but I'm going to review this again, because I like Jet's Fire. And along with it, um, I brought back some of my other Macross Transformers that I bought a long time ago. Um, we have this one, now I can never remember if this is exact knockoff or not. I bought it, I can't remember what I bought it from, it might have been eBay. Um, but I started decking it out in sort of like a Decepticon Jetfire stickers. Um, it sort of works up until you get to the top and you've got a conflict between red and the purple. I was going to try and get rid of the red, but I quite liked it, so I never decided what to do, so I left it. Um, yeah, 
he's pretty cool. A bit loose in places. Um, and then I'll come to that one last because that is my favourite. You might already sort of guess if you've been watching my videos for a very, very long time. You might know what I'm honest. Um, and now these are two reissue Valkyries that I bought. And um, we got this one here. Now, they did do a lot of these reissued Valkyries, but just the jet on its own, where he is, but just the jet on his own. Um, but these ones came with the armour and everything. And um, I can't remember how much these were, £130 each. So I can't remember now. It's a lot of money. Um, if I'd been able to just get one of them, I would have got this one. But I think I've got the other one, which I'm going to show next first, um, which was this guy. Um, I can't remember their names. V, what is he? A VF1A. Yeah. Anyway, um, I've got this one first. And it's got the weird different head sculpt, but he's got green sort of like boosters and stuff, which I weren't too keen on the green. Um, and then I saw this one, which I just showed. Uh, and he's got the light blue um, armour, which is pretty cool. And that's the one I wanted. So I've got both of those. And I've sucked the keeper in the end. Um, and then, I can't even put down there without damaging the box too much. Yeah, like I said, there were a couple of reissues. They were very hard to get the reissues with the armour at the time. Anyway, I bought those about 10 years ago. Um, Put those ones over there, show those ones just yet. And then we got this one. This one cost me about £200, I think, give or take. This was from eBay, and I really, really wanted this. And this was a another Valkyrie. Um, it's a proper right. one. I think it was a blowing the door shut. Um, anyway, yeah, it's a proper 155 scale um, Valkyrie, so which is obviously exactly like the G1 Jetfire. But this one came with some different armour to arm him up with. And I saw this and I thought, my God, I really, really want that. That is so cool. Um, this cost me about 200 quid, give or take, um, from America. Luckily, I didn't get charged an import fee or anything like that um, at the time. Um, and it's just pretty damn cool. I do have another version, which I thought this was at first. Um, yeah, I think that's like 172 scale or something like that. But it's actually more articulate. It's more like a model um, and looks really cool. Um, I was going to sell it once I found out that it was actually not the one I wanted. But... It just looks too good. I'll keep that. All right, right. So on to some movie Transformers. Now, not everybody's cup of tea. Um, I can understand why to a point, but some of them are actually bloody good. Um, so I just think they're brilliant. Right, I'm going to start here. This one, actually, I've had this one here for a long time. I got this one when I got married. Um, this is Human Alliance Soundwave. Now, I know they've got a new version now, a movie, the best, whatever it's bloody called. And the deco on that does look really good, like the paint job. Um, but this is the original one, and I'll stick with that. It's not a KO, it's an original. Um, yeah, I've just got to trans transform it, really, one day. I'll get around to it one day. I'd like to do a video on that. Now, I did go to my mum and dad's a few weeks ago, and I wanted to find this one, but I only just found it when I went there just now. Um, this is the... What is he called? Uh, I can't remember what he's called now. Prestige Edition? Oh, I can't remember what he's called. Bloody hell. Who knows? Oh, there you go. Premium Series. There we go. So he's got... A, different paint job on him. Um, I got this from Forbidden Planet ages ago. Probably cost me 15 quid or something like that. Because um, I love Barricade. So I've got him. He's pretty cool. I've got the original down here somewhere. Let me show him off now actually. I've already done a video on this. can't remember if I've uploaded it by now then. Um, but there is the original Barricade. And that is brilliant. I love that. So I'm not bothered about the new Barricade too much. I do want it. I'm not paying £23 for it. Um, if I see it cheaper, I'll get it then. But I'm not paying £23. Not when I have this. This cost me £10 10 years ago. Um, and good enough for me. So I'll put them over there. Uh, who else have I got up here just quickly? I've got, which I did, I left it on my dad's actually the other day. Um, I think one of these is Landmine, and another one is all I've got, Kenshaw. So I brought them home. And I've got this guy, which I, I've left in a bag actually on my my dad's. This is um, a crankcase from the last film. Is it the last film? No, it's Dark of the Moon, wasn't it? And it looks really good. I like him because he's like a weird homage to Shrapnel of G1. And I do want the Decepticon Berserker because he looks like he should be one of the other ones that they're fighting at the time. Or he's with, with whatever. Um, but I don't pay 23 pounds for him. So if I see him cheaper, I'll get one then. We'll get two. Because they look good. Um, that's them over there. Now then, we've come to some other figures. Now, I've actually done a video on this already, but I don't think I've uploaded it. Is the, I think it's Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Starscream. A great figure, probably my favourite version of Starscream. 
I did have the original from the first film. I think I sold that on eBay because I thought it was a bit of a dodgy figure. Um, now, I sh the only two I can't find is a movie Thundercrack and a movie protofilm Starscream. Um, I may have sold them on eBay, I don't know. But I can't seem to find them now. So there we go. Mind you, I can't find some mini Autobots that I have. Like Bumblebee and whatever. I don't know what I've done with them. But I've looked in all my loose boxes and I can't seem to find them. Uh, anyway. Um, I want to do a video on these two guys. These are probably two of the most complicated, tiniest figures you'll ever likely see. These are uh, Skids and Mudflat, the, where they transform into that, wherever it is, the bloody ice cream van. Love it. It's complicated as hell, but brilliant little figures, actually. They're pretty damn cool. Um, I didn't give these enough credit, any of these movie figures, enough credit back when I was buying them back then. Um, I thought they were a bit god-awful. But... Looking back at them now, they're actually pretty good. Like I like, I like, I do like Ravage. I do like Ravage. I just do not understand the alt mode that he's got. It is a bit of a crazy one, but he's pretty damn good. Um, just for what he is, I like him. Uh, who else we got up here? So this might be a bit of a long video. I'm trying. I'm trying to get through. This is darker than Shockwave. A great figure. Um, I'm not too keen on the movie. The best repaint of this guy. Oh, pardon me. Um, I actually think this one looks better because he's more purpley. So I actually like that one. And the, um, he's got some great light piping. I haven't done a video on him yet, but I will. Um, sorry. Don't worry. Um, and then I found this guy at my mum and dad's. He's in a, literally been in a cupboard since I moved out, what, seven, eight years ago. Um, as you can see, I don't know if the dust is going to pick it up for that, but he's in, in a cupboard, and I've rescued him here. Um, I can't find his instructions. I think his instructions have fallen down, but I can't empty out the cupboard because there's no room in that little bedroom anymore. But I love Blackout. He was great, great helicopter mode. Um, shame about the robot mode. is a bit dodgy. Uh, we'll put him over there. Um, then who are we going to come to? Are we going to come to the... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Should I drop him on the floor? Uh, I've already done videos on these two guys. This is uh, the Deluxe Brawl and Deluxe Desert Attack Brawl, something like that. I should know that. I've forgotten it now. Deep Desert Brawl, that's it. Um, they're actually really good. Um, I'd forgotten just how good these were because I think I got this guy out. I, I actually got this at TF Nation last year. So we'll put him down there for now. But yeah, but I got this guy um, when he first came out. I broke him, I think I broke the water aim off bit, and thought he was a bit rubbish. So I put him back, and then got the um, the leader class one, eventually. And I thought that was pretty damn good, that was a good figure. Uh, so I never looked at this guy again, until I reviewed it a few weeks ago. Um, I've reviewed this guy, this is quite a good figure. This is the Revenge of the Fallen Voyager class Megatron. Uh, and he's pretty good. I, I do have the leader class one from which I bought the TF Nation last year, which is the Nightmare Megatron. Um, I don't know if he's like the K one, which has got a read on hand or not. Uh, but I do want one with the read on hand, so I have to look into that. Uh, and then I've got a couple of figures which I did another one which was in that cupboard which I bought at the time. Um, and I'd have reviewed this guy. Which is um, Revenge of the Fallen Jet Fight. Now he has been standing in a cupboard, pretty much like he was in the film, actually, um, unused and just hanging around, literally. Um, yeah, and so I've rescued him, <laughs> and he's very, very dusty, as you can maybe see on the top there. He's very, very dusty. Like if I do that, you can see some of the dust. Um, but. He still works, even after all these 80 years that I've had him since uh, Revenge of the Fallen come out. We're going to put him over there and hopefully he'll stand up. Yep, there we go. And I rescued this guy as well. I bought, got bought this Christmas 2009 by my then girlfriend, who's now my wife, obviously. Um, which was <laughs> Revenge of the Fallen, whatever he is, leader class, Devastator. And he's a bit basic, but he's so cool. You have to take the batteries out though because um, the, the the mechanism that does all the lights and sounds and this thing, it's on like a tilt mechanism, so you only have to move it and it just keeps going off and it becomes very annoying very quickly. Um, it was only a guy at work who told me that who he bought it for his son at the time. He said, "Oh, I took the batteries straight out," and I thought that's because he told me it was on a tilt and because I, I could never work out. I thought mine was do it, just keep going off. And he goes, "Yeah, it's on a tilting mechanism." So 
I took the pairs out, and yeah, my life was a lot more pleasanter since. It's quite a good figure. I'm going to review this guy again. I can't remember if I reviewed it at the time, but it's I like it. I do like it, even though it's simplistic. Heavy as hell and bulking, but it works so well with your Legends class figures. Uh, right, okay, so I've got a few more. Right, so now we're on to, like, uh, these were all the loose ones that I had already that I'd got separated from the original lot that I brought um, to do reviews on. I'm going to try and review all of them at some point in time. Um, there are a few others up in the loft, which I may do if I ever get a chance, but I'm sure I will eventually. But we're on to the second bag now. This is another lot that I'm definitely going to be reviewing, and I just remember there's one more G1 figure in here. And I've got my G1 Insecticons. These are originals, really dodgy dodgy now but I thought it's nice to review proper originals not some reissues or ones that have been just even though they might be original but you've only just taken that out of the box these were played with yellowed and chrome wear and everything on them uh, right but back to most movie figures I've got this one uh, I have no idea if he's the premium series Megatron but I know he's different to the normal Voyager Megatron that was released because that had the ice which was blue this one has got it more just clear um, but I've got him uh, I'm but he's multi-language on the back, so I might open him up. I don't know if he's worth anything, probably not. So that's definitely more for the future. Uh, right, what else have we got in here? Uh, that's another one, don't worry about him. Um, and then what we got? We got some real gear. I did Mean Time the other week, and yeah, I did mistransforming. You can forgot you can um, move the front of the watch around. Uh, but we got Zoom Out. Um, Booster X or someone and Spy Shot. Uh, so I'm gonna do the videos on that. Use that in there. Uh, I've got uh, the instructions for the Ice Cream Twins, whatever the name is. Right, we have um, Ransack and probably my favourite, which is Dive Bomb, which is a great recolor. And I've got a knockoff Ransack, which is twice the size and comes with loads of extra missiles and bombs on him and everything, which is pretty cool. Um, I did love that, especially the dive bomb. Definitely going to review that guy. Uh, who else we got? Ah, we got Movie Soundwave. Um, yeah, from Revenge of the Fallen. Yeah, a bit, bit funny that one. Um, always had to come off again. Um, there was a KO that, of this which was double sized. I wanted, but just never managed to get. A bit gutted about that. Uh, it's a bit like that Ransack, uh, or Crankcase earlier. There was a double sized version of that, which is a KO. I wanted, I could never get. Keep doing searches on eBay every now and again, but I never see one. Um, this guy I actually got this in Las Vegas. Um, I think it's a hunt for the Decepticons. Or, so no, it's Revenge of the Fallen Dirge. But I think that's the same sort of one, really. I'm um, going to do a video on this. I remember when I bought this, I transformed it from plane mode into his robot mode. And then I moved out, and then I just threw it in a box. Um, and it was only the other day that I transformed it back. So it had been in robot mode for like seven or eight years. That's the thing about some of these figures that I've got here. Um, I don't know what he's doing there. Uh, oh yeah, we've got Recon Barricade. Yeah, some of these figures have been in here for so long. I've had so many, so many figures. But it's cool going through old boxes and finding all these toys that you, you bought a long time ago and just threw in and then forgot about. Uh, what have we got here? Instructions for Brawl. That's when I attempt putting back. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, oh, what's in there? Bloody Generations... Someone. Um, oh yeah, Generations Mind, right? Oh, I've been putting stickers in. I bought some stickers the other day from Retro Labels. That's why. Oh yeah, I've got some more Beast Machines figures. Um, I think I've showed probably my other hot tools. Because these are ones I'm planning to do videos on at some point in the future. Uh, who else have we got down here? Oh, I've got oh, Skystalker, which is now on eBay. Um, he is, actually, I thought he wasn't complete, but he is complete. He hasn't got his instructions, but he's a pretty damn good figure. If anyone's interested in him, he's a really good figure. Um, yeah. Uh, what's, what else we got? Oh, we've got Dark of the Moon Megatron, the Voyager class. He's all right. He's not too bad. He's done more paint on him. This guy I love. What's his name? Um, I should know. I can't remember what his name is now. I'm going to say it, is it? Uh, oh, Incinerator. He is really cool. He's a really cool figure. Unfortunately, though, all this bit at the back, all his little tail fin and everything, is all soft rubber plastic. And we have kept him in a box for like eight years. It's all bent out of shape. But I'm going to review that guy. See so about to see it all now. What else have we got in this box? Nearly done. 
Uh, this is another TF Nation purchase. This is a uh, Revenge of the Fallen Mind Wipe, and I put my original Skull uh, Skull Stalker, Sky Stalker in with him, um, just because he was my original one. Um, I never had it luckily, so it was a good purchase for me at TF Nation. <laughs> You know what else we've got here? Just for the sake of having him in here, uh, we've got a Revenge of the Fallen Thrust. Um, not a great figure. Don't know why he's in here, actually. Uh, right, let's see what else we've got in here. Anybody else in this one? I don't think so. Right, let's move on to box number three. Or third part of it, anyway. Right, so on to the third part now. You'll have to bear with me. I haven't got too many more. Um, oh, follow me up. Uh, right, so who else we got in here? We have... We have Terror Dive. I can't remember what line he is out of. It couldn't be Generation, so we'll do a for the It's a cool thing. And then we have the exact same model. This guy is Dark of the Moon Space Case. And he's not too bad. And again, he's a Legends with Megatron in the first film. Um, better than the leader class. Way better than the leader class. That leader class will have sold that. I don't know about the Looks 
so well you know you need to stay well you know you can't be as being a bit being a Xbox, tested each one, found loads of ones that were just saying Optimus Prime, and then found that one that said I am Optimus Prime. So I got that one, which is pretty cool, because the lights out, lots of them just said Optimus Prime, which is really crap. Um, and then we've got this. See, I have my box for Protoform Starscream, but I can't find him. I don't know what I've done with him. I don't remember something, but I probably did. Um, we have... I'm going to be able to tell what this is in this bag, but I don't want to get them out. There is it. It is the oversized Dark of the Moon Megatron, which is pretty darn cool. Now, I have reviewed that already a long time ago. I actually got this on the day my son was born. Um, so it was a double good day that day. Uh, right, so we've got two more figures, um, and I've got these. These were on sale in Asda back in 2009. I saw an advert in the paper or someone did what well, they told me about it. So I went and got um, Ramjet. And he comes, I love it how they came with that little collector card, sort of lenticular, whatever it's called. Um, I see one about that. I think it's cool. And I did pick up Skywalk at the same time. And that's why I thought I'd have kept my Thundercracker, because I had him. Um, not the great, I was never a big fan of this mold. Um, but he's all right. Mm. Right, that is it. That is my entire. Well, they're actually more up in the loft, but they're the, some of the ones that I, I'm probably not going to review just yet. There were some classics in there though, like um, from Revenge of the Fallen, the little the Doctor, little fellow turns into the microscope. Love that figure. Uh, I was thinking of getting that one out, but there's so many others that I haven't reviewed or whatever that I wanted to do, so he's on the back burner for now. Um, Right, okay, this has been Graham, Collector75. I'll see you all next time. Uh, feel free to like, share, comment, and anything else you want to do with the video. Um, I shall see you all next time. Bye for now. Sorry, my mirror's just moved at the back there, so now I can't see anything. See you all, see you all, see you, see you, see you for now.